We've talked about triggering emails in Google Sheets, but what about sending them out in bulk? No one should have to curate hundreds of emails and send them out one by one. Sure, you can use a tool like SendGrid to create a template that you can send a bunch of contacts that same email, but it really only works when the data doesn't actually change too much. But what if you had dynamic content within those emails, like metrics or invoices, for instance? Yep, you guessed it. We're gonna make a script to bulk send emails using the SendGrid API. So the data set that we're gonna be working with today is a bunch of order line items for a coffee enthusiast website. Because, hey, who doesn't like coffee? I mean, this is only my eighth cup today. So let's open up our script editor and then we're gonna write three functions to start off. To the first function we'll write is to grab data from the spreadsheet. We're gonna use the spreadsheet app library in order to do this, where we assign the spreadsheet using the ID, then the sheet name, and then get the data using get data range, and we'll get the value from there. Then we'll loop through the data in order to get the unique order IDs from that data set. Notice how we use new set order IDs to deduplicate the array. After that, we're gonna filter down the entire data set using the order ID so that we can just get all the items for that specific order. Now that we have the data, it's time to organize the data into SendGrid's payload format. The most important part of this is the dynamic template data section. This is what is gonna be used in the SendGrid template to populate each email with the dynamic data we want. Speaking of SendGrid's templating language, they use something called handlebars, which you might recognize if you work with other email templating software before, but if not, I'll include a link to the documentation below. And if you'd like to see a video on how to use handlebars to generate dynamic email layouts, leave a comment below. Back to the payload though, some of this is going to be easy to inject, like this top level data. Other things like order items and total amounts will need some special logic to create that. So we'll make a new function called generate dynamic template data, which will take parameters for order data. The names and emails are shared across all the line items and the image will be static. I really only have that in here to prove that we can send images through the API. The order items will need a for loop to get all the data, but before that, we're going to create a new variable for order total, which is going to be set to zero. For each iteration of the loop, we'll push an object that contains the item name, price, quantity, and total unit cost. And then at the end, we're going to do a plus equals to increment the order total using the total unit cost. Then we'll calculate the taxes. Boring. By multiplying that by the tax rate, and then we'll get the invoice total by combining the order total with the tax total. And finally, we'll add all these to our dynamic template data object and return that when the function is called. Let's put this all together with a new function called generate template payload. We're going to get our data using the first two functions that we wrote earlier. Then we're going to iterate through the unique order IDs to get the entire order details using our filter function. Now we'll make our order payload, which will have the from and to emails. We'll take the data from our generate dynamic template data function to fill in the dynamic template data variable. And finally, the template ID from SendGrid. Each order payload is gonna get pushed into an array called template payload, which we're gonna use in our main code for the emailer job. But first, we have to connect the SendGrid API. It's a pretty straightforward API. It uses a bearer token for authentication, accepts JSON in the request body, and we're gonna use URL fetch app to make the request and return the response back. By the way, if you'd be interested in a course that focuses on how to connect to APIs through app scripts, leave a comment below. The endpoint we'll be hitting is v3 slash mail slash sent. It's going to be a post request that we make and it's going to use the payload that we generated in the earlier functions. Finally, we'll make a function called send invoices, which will get our invoice template payloads, iterate through each one, and pass each order payload through the send email function to send the emails out. Well, let's run this and see the output. Then we'll check our inbox to see how the emails look. And if you're interested in seeing how to make pretty email templates like this using handlebars, let me know by dropping a comment below. For more ways to supercharge your workflows, make sure to check out this playlist.